What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are watching episode 3 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode, we found out that Freddy got Ada pregnant, and when Campbell and the other cops came, like, raiding and everything, Freddy had to bolt, and I low-key thought he wasn't gonna come back, but he did. And he was supposed to go away with Ada, but he ended up deciding to stay so i'm kind of ready to see how that turns out with him and tommy because they don't seem to be in a good place and the episode ended with what's his name we were introduced to billy kimber i think that's his name yeah and he was trying to make up some kind of deal with tommy so i'm ready to see if he gets any like further with that so let's get into the episode i've already given you three how much did you pay for the suit you'll be wearing oh i don't pay for suits my suits are on the house or well, the house burns down hmm so you want me to go if only it were that way for everyone else what i want it makes no difference well i believe what guns mr shelby a serious amount of guns. I'm surprised she can hear it. When it comes to speculation, you can't be the fact. Oh, well, she's not that far away. Some say there was word from the proof in there. It was the peaky blindness of talking. Oh, father, why are you so sad on this bright? Why are you bringing out a random song? Why in shite we're trying to talk business oh, here. son, I see sad memories of you. How far... He didn't ask for a private concert. When being just a... History was made. Who knows what's about what, so I'll let you know. I long to see the boy... That's annoying. Shillings. Buy something red. To match his handkerchief. Whose handkerchief? Always red. Red's a good dress color, though. Did they get married? Peter, what the hell? She, sir. One female operative has proved more useful than any of you great lumps of man. Grace. Oh, regular police officers, uh, not spies. Who the hell is that? Why are you going after him? Or trying to spy on him? Okay then, what? What are you? Copper. Half the Irish priest take <laughs> Well, that didn't go in a direction that I thought it would. I thought she was gonna be slick. Or wait, did she get shot? Oh, it looked like she got shot for a second. Ada and Freddie Thorne were married today. They defied your orders. They haven't left the city. So what are you gonna do, Tommy? Pay him a visit? I promised I'd run Freddie out of town. Promised who? I forgot about that. You get Freddy out of town, Paul. Or else I'll deal with him myself. What's your way of getting him out of town, though? Like, killing him? She 
she actually got the red dress. That's how you say things. What the bloody hell is she doing here? Just randomly in their house. Two hundred pounds, Freddie. Times like these, communists in the family's bad for business. You have to leave the city. You think I can't handle Tommy Shelby? You can't. I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you do. Twice the man you are. <laughs> Would you ladies at least let a man sleep on it? I mean, at this point, it kind of seems like either you leave or you die. So why sleep on it? This is an active military mission. Your words. I'm doing my job. Yes. Is she not going to mention that she killed someone? Doesn't concern me. Or wait, or is that what she just said? Killing a man affects the heart. They're planning and showing up in numbers and robbing your bookies, running chalk and rafflers. You think I can't handle the leaves? Just a word of warning from a friend, that's all. He's trying to get close. See you at trying to make it seem like he's a friend. <laughs> or is he actually trying to be a friend? I don't know. Already invited. Why have you been drinking? Well, every it seems like everyone drinks there anyway. People keep asking me questions that I don't know the answer to. So I don't know. Where's she living there? He doesn't know either. I don't know. Is it you, Peaky Blinders? Who stole the guns from the BSI? Yes, but Tommy just doesn't want to admit it. It's us that has the machine guns now, and it's them that's in the mud. Or us. So that, that's how he tells them, because Arthur is about to have a breakdown over not knowing. Surprise for you. When I go back to England, I want to own my own pub. Well. He bought it? Now hey, you've gone soft. You've gone soft time. Bloody kids. I think the other ones punctured as well. I was about to say, who would have the balls to, to do that to their tire? Today, some rebel rousing union man brought the BSA out on strike. I heard that uh, Freddie married your sister. It's all family you've got, eh? Bet you can't wait for Christmas. Everyone's bringing up that Ada and Freddie got the married. Freddy like, daunting. damn, he knows. We'll take your sister in as an accomplice. Oh, Tommy already got to him. Oh, it's the other way around. Oh, poor twine. Your honesty is appreciated now if you're not going to use that thing. I'm not finished. Sit down. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's still going to do it, even with the gun pointed at him. <laughs> because she's a Shelby. You thought it'd mean you'd be somebody. If that's the truth. I won't let you fuck up my sister's life for your cause. You actually believe that? Now he's gonna make you look like a dick for I thinking that. Oh, what? I 
and he doesn't answer. Or what? What's about to happen? Bang reporting, sir. At ease. Didn't think I'd see him back in town. He said a lot, but the only bit I heard was that their high command think is the Peaky Blinders who shot him. I came up on the next boat tomorrow. Mm, they're talking about the IRA person. Is it true? Grace shot. That just clicked in my head. But lies travel faster than the truth. Get a message to him. Tell him to send someone to parlay. Tell him there's been a misunderstanding and we don't want any trouble. Would he protect oh, Grace if she told him? I don't Excuse know. Me. I would hope Smart. so. But then also, she's kind of two-faced in the moment. I can smell it in the air. Men should talk to. To you? Why not? I'm a barmaid. Are y'all gonna talk? Men always send the troopers to a barmaid. She's offering. What is it you and Freddy are fighting over? <laughs> I'd be afraid to shave my face if I had to do it like that. Are you wearing any red to like maybe match? Because she's your date. He's good with motors, but it pains him. Now take what you're good at. Those of you with guns, keep them out of it. Unless a gun is pulled on you, we want this done quietly. Even a little kid? So when do we share out the cash? We don't. A little kid's when going, that's wild. You're in Tommy's army now, boys. To Stanley King. What's the Number seven, right? Are you sure we're allowed in here? Well, of course y'all are allowed in here. Tommy is, well, Tommy would be allowed, maybe. Will we get to lay bed? For the boy riding a horse, uh, dandy flower. If they ask about me, say that I'm Prussian. Don't speak a word of English. Come on, posh girl, earn your three quid. Oh, so he, they're pulling off a scheme together. If I'm asked properly. Lady Sarah, Connemara, will you dance with me? I thought you, I looky thought he would never dance in front of anyone. Roberts, the Peaky Blinders are here. I told you, Mr. Kimber. I thought you already saw him. She's got some body, that one. That whole time, Tommy seemed to have like a little smile on his face. Sure. Your blood blood. I still wish, but I'll take the old ear off, and you're gonna need your ears to listen. Okay. No more that was boys. brutal. Right. We're the protection there. You wear that to my pub. Buy the boys a drink. Anyone hurt? Ah, a few cuts and bruises. The girl, Lady Sarah. Mm, the couple right there is just kissing while they're exchanging money, and he has blood on him. Excuse me, Jeff. 
I want to dance. No, Tommy's gonna ask to dance with. with. yep. Your man said it was alright for me to have this dance. Throw a small condition into the mix. Is she gonna be in the condition? Please say no. Just me and him. Yeah. See what I'm doing here. Is that all right? You really just offered her up like that. I'll throw in an extra three quid for your extra time. Whenever you want, just kick him in the balls. I'm a clause in a contract. If you want to be part of my organization, you have to make sacrifices. You... I feel like you're asking too much of her. I don't know. Yeah, we have a deal. Two hours? Yeah. I was independent. I made this hat. I was a good milliner. That's cute. Pretty hat. Really is. You showed me up back there at the races. Is she gonna kill that dude? Why don't you teach me how to dance properly? Yeah. Look like a bloody film star. <laughs> I want to see the I would have them or something like oh look I've dropped something pick it up you can yeah if I drop a glass on the floor you pick it up I want to watch you pick it up I wouldn't do it right you little slack the fucking <laughs> glass I'm cutting what no sir no what sir. are you doing here I've got another hour just wait Listen to me. Just listen to me. I was gonna let you go through with this, but in the end, put you as the clap. <laughs> yeah, syphilis. That's how you save her. I mean. You took a shine to what I thought I'd use her. Someone told me she had a syph. I thought, what the hell? Well, just go and wait in the car. I could walk on my own. I'd be pissed at him too. Like, that's a. F he put her in a bad situation like that. But then you change your mind. Why did you change your mind, Thomas? Why did you? No answer? And that's how it's gonna end? I swear, if that's how it would be working for that dude, I wouldn't have even offered, but I mean, she's just trying to get the inside, like get into the inside since she's working for Camp Bell. He really, he really just offered her, offered her up like that. And I honestly, I probably would have left, but she was still, she was still trying to just get in. But that whole thing was just too much. Like it could have went in a totally different direction. Tommy could have liked not showed up in time and other bad shit could have happened well she if she got her gun in time too she could have shot him but i don't know it didn't seem like she was going to so it was a intense moment seeing what's his name seeing freddie and tommy talk something out or whatever i thought it was going to go in a totally different direction like I thought he was probably going to end up killing Freddy, but he left Freddy alive, but I feel like he might not next time. So if I was Freddy, I'd diddy bop and get out, because fuck dying. You know, I also didn't think, what's her name, Ada was that far along in the pregnancy. But she already looks like she's about to give birth, like... 
that takes nine months and i thought last time like we heard about it she was like five weeks so is time going by fast here i don't know but i just want to see what happens with them because how that whole shit ended i just i don't know where it could lead to so i guess come back for episode four